Hello, my name is Lindsay Maestri. I'm the Executive Director here at LUCA, and today I'd like to welcome you to our exhibition, American Contemporary Craft, curated by our curator, Linda Collum. This show features traditional and non-traditional ideas of craft in a variety of mediums and processes. So let's take a look at the show. Catherine Grimley, Gallery Director for the Pimlin School of Craft, wrote of this exhibition, to define contemporary craft in 2020, one should look well beyond the edges of the labels historically attached to the practice. Craft is both a noun and a verb, after all. This is Restore Your Agency 2 by Morgan Hill. Hill's work is made of pieces of charred wood that are hung by magnets. She notes of her work, the act of making slash destroying is intrinsically linked to my own liberation and renewal. In this series, Marina Font stitches directly into black and white photographs of a female nude. The construction of these mental maps, as Font calls them, evoke diverse psychological states and emotions with meanings that are in constant flux, never fixed, just like our identities. Koko Kamahira examines the craft of painting by taking the canvas apart. He unpicks the canvas and suspends it from a wooden frame, just like a traditional painting is stretched on a frame. Catherine Grimley also noted of this exhibition, the term craft makes space to embrace both the traditionalist working skillfully with one material and the more mercurial, untethered artist. The work in this exhibition illustrates a liberation from conventional perceptions. Centerpiece by Anne Wood is a large-scale sculpture made of yarn, artificial flowers, battery-operated candles, artificial wood, taxidermy mannequins, and table parts. Materials and processes are both an important part of Wood's work. She was in the gallery for five days, pouring molds, rug-hooking yarn, and blending together this over-the-top work rooted in kitsch. Nea Glatt's work, Tangents Aligned, is a formal investigation of line, shape, value, balance, and texture, all done in fiber. The stark contrast between the forms and the tactile quality of the work invite the viewer in. Kent Bosworth's wood carvings often create narratives through objects. Comfortably numb, chili con queso, and cigarettes after sex are influenced by the narco corridos or drug ballots that tell the story of drug lords near his home on the Mexican-American border. <laughs> 